Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, 2016 paper, question four, part one, was a mix of algebra and calculus. So the function f of x um, is x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 7 is defined for x as an element of r. Find the coordinates of the point where the graph f cuts the y-axis, okay? So just explain what I'm going to do here. I'm just drawing a rough coordinate geometry. I suppose this is more of a coordinate geometry question than algebra. But anyway, so I'm going to put a few numbers on my axes. So one, two, three, four four and so on, one, two, three, okay? And I'm gonna look at what are the coordinates of these points on the axis. So the coordinates of that point there would be zero comma one. The coordinates of this point would be zero comma two. The coordinates of this point would be zero comma three. And even if I go down to minus one, for example, the coordinates of this point would be zero minus one and so on and so forth. So what I'm hoping you'll see is that at the y-axis, regardless of the coordinate, the x-coordinate is always zero, okay? So at the y-axis, the x-coordinate equals zero, okay? So therefore, if you're to find out where does a line cut through the, the y-axis, if you let the x-coordinate equal to zero, you'll find the matching y-coordinate, okay? So this function cuts through that y-axis at some point. If I let x equal to zero, I'll find the, the matching y-coordinate. So f of x is y, okay, in functions f of x is y. So x is zero cubed plus zero squared minus two times zero plus seven, okay? So the y coordinate is seven, okay? So find the point at which the graph cuts through the x-axis, I would say zero comma seven is the coordinates of where that point cuts through the y-axis. Okay, and that's that one done. Now, as an aside, if I was asked, where does it cut through the x-axis? Well, if you think about the coordinates of these points, one comma zero, two comma zero, three comma zero, and so on and so forth. So at the x-axis, it's the y-coordinate that's, that's always zero, okay? So I would let the y equal to zero and solve for x um, if I was asked where it cuts through the x-axis. Okay, so that's how you do those ones. Verify using algebra that the point is on the graph x, okay? So label the point x comma y, just like you would any point. This is how you verify a point is on a line or it's the same method we use to verify a point is on a circle or anything like that, okay? So f of x, which is y, is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 7, okay? So let's spin our point. So our x is 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 7. And that should be equal to my y coordinate, which is 7, if the point is on the line. So I'm going to put all this into the calculator and see, does it equal 7, okay? So 1 cubed is 1 plus one squared minus two plus seven is equal to seven. So what you'll find is seven is equal to seven. So therefore the point is on the line. Okay, so I hope those two uh, make sense. They could come up in an algebra question. They could come up in coordinate geometry question. They could come up in a functions and calculus question. So um, well worth your while knowing how to do them. Part C then, part one, find f dash x, the derivative of f of x. So a bit of calculus in this one. So let's take down f of x again. So x cubed plus x squared minus 2x, isn't it? Minus 2x plus 7. Okay, so remember the rule when we calculate, when we have an x to the power of n, 
Take down the power in front, reduce the power by one. So subtract one off the power. So if I'm going to differentiate three X squared, take down the three in front, reduce the power by one. Now differentiate this one. So we do this to each, each term in, in turn. So take down the power. So two X reduce the power by one. So it's two to the power of one minus two times this one. Its power is one. So take down that one in front, reduce the power by one and seven differentiates to zero. Okay, so then we tidy it up. So three X squared plus two X X to the power of zero is one. So I get minus two times one by one. So I get minus two. Okay, so that's the derivative of f of x. Now it says, and derivative, remember derivative is rate of change. It can also be called that. And it can also be called slope of a curve or slope. Okay. So then it says, find the slope of the tangent to the graph when x is one, okay? So find the slope when x is one, okay? So when x is one, slope equals three times one squared, basically I'm subbing in the x for one here, plus two times one minus two, okay? So three times one squared is three, plus two minus two, so the slope is three. The last part says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve, okay? So in any coordinate geometry, if you were told to find the equation of a, of, of a tangent, a tangent is just a line, you would use the equation y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Find the equation of a tangent. Tangent is just a line, okay? So find the equation of the line at the point one seven, okay? Now, this was tricky because your x coordinate here is one, okay? So you've already found out that when x is one, the slope is three, okay? So that was the tricky part here. The point is, one seven, so that's your x one y one. So therefore you go y minus y one is equal to slope times x minus x one. Okay, so this is how, so if I can just explain what's happening here. Um, we have some sort of a curve, okay? And then at x is equal to one, we're trying to find the slope of a tangent if you could draw it at that curve. And remember tangent just cuts a curve at one point, okay? Now, I'm not too sure how the slope will look. Okay, I could draw it like that. And then there's x equal to one. And again, I could draw a tangent. So this is what you're doing here. You have found out that the slope of that tangent that just touches the curve at that point, you found out its slope is one and its coordinates are one comma seven. So we are finding the equation of that blue line that's there when we're doing this. So it's no different to the coordinate geometry chapter where you would find the equation of a line, okay? So the final step I'm going to do here is merge these two numbers. So I'm going to bring the minus seven over so that it becomes plus seven, just to tidy up the number. So y is equal to three x plus four, okay, is the equation of that line. Okay, so very important question, very important calculus piece that comes up a bit. So make sure that that makes sense. And if you want me to do any more questions on it, just, just let me know. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. 
You can then progress on to the level 8 in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.